I don't get mad easily. But I will get mad eventually. <laughs> right, right, right. I have a tough guy and I like having sex. <laughs> <laughs> the gayest conversation. Ever. This is what I thought yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah, I like having sex and I, I, I get to fights every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Kobe, but, uh, yeah. you know, Kobe had a little stubble, which I always appreciated. Yeah, yeah. Because Jordan I, went full nice. ball. It's yeah. it's hard to maintain full bald. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you gotta shave literally every two days to keep to maintain like full sleek like that shit looks crazy. Mm-hmm. Bare minimum every two days. Yeah, how the moment you hit day three, it's not the same. How often do you shave? I try to go every three to four days. Okay, I do once a week. Yeah, but that's why you look like this. Like Gardini said, a fucking jackass. Whatever you said. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, it looks like a sand. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I forgot what, what did you say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not anymore. I think we're recording now. So. <laughs> Wait, Val, are we we're locked rolling. in? Yeah. Val, we're locked in? Yeah, hell yeah. God, so, 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 Sean, why do you hate Mexicans? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Apparently, Gardini hates Mexicans. Yeah, confidence. I like confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm chewing. Um, I had a bad set here the other day. Do they know your location? Do they know you record it? Yeah, well, yeah. If, you, if you listen, because it's come up multiple times from other guests. Because mm-hmm. they'll be like, oh, man, I've done a spot here, or I want to do a spot here. Or, yeah. like you said, I fought a bunch of Mexicans here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah. I've been doing this joke. I've been trying this joke. I'm not going to do the joke. But it's about, like, how the pilot came on the PA, and he had, like, a Hispanic accent, and it made me nervous. And then it, like, kind of fell flat when I hit the punchline. And I was like, what the heck, guys? There's, like, six people here. It was, like, the end of the show. And I was like, what the heck, guys? And they were like, well, we're all Mexican, man. <laughs> There's like six of them. They're like, we're all related and we're all Mexican. And we're all pilots. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Well, that's what I asked them. I was like, well, how many pilots do you know that are Mexican? And they were like, my uncle's a bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Bro, that proves my point. <laughs> and then I said, I was nasty to them. I was like, what do I got to do to get you? I'll bring a mariachi band in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you doubled down on the racism. Yeah. yeah. And then on the way out, I was just standing talking to the bros outside. Mm. And one of the dudes was leaving. And he like bucked at me and like punked me out. And I was like, what? And he was like, gotcha. And I was like, all right, hey, have a good night, man. And he just kind of left. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. What did you do? He said that earlier. He's like, yeah, and then he jumped at me. I'm like, nigga, what kind of bad set was like? That's crazy. Yeah, that's I was antagonizing them. I was like, I was making fun of uh, I wasn't really being that mean. I've been way meaner to people before. But <laughs> these guys, just they, they could smell that I felt bad, I think. They Ooh. could tell that I was oh, they, feeling they sm- guilty. So they, they smelled took fear. It, yeah, they smelled yeah, fear. Yeah, and they were like, well, we'll jump at them. Yeah, we'll scare them even more. Have that ever happened to you, son? Um, I, well, I remember we, there was that one uh, Mexican show producer that ran at me with a pool k- stick. Pool cue? What? Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, real life Zora. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sorry, you just unlocked that memory, nigga. I forgot about that. Yeah. But we were at open mic, and that that happened, bro. Yeah, that we're, happened. So we're at an open mic, and it was run by this guy, just this coked out guy, mm. right? Coked out of his mind. Coked out of his, uh, coked out of his mind, guy. Mexican Speedy brought it up because y- yours was also <laughs> with a Mexican person. But yeah, uh, we we had like we had run the light by a minute, so we did six minutes instead of five. Me and Derek. And so oh, this no. guy, the guy gets on stage and is like, oh, you guys think you're big shit now? You can run. Just because we, like, worked at, we started we were working both at clubs. Door guys. We, were we were both right. door guys. Yeah. So he was like, oh, you guys so think you're big yeah. shit? Run in the fucking light. And me and Asana just kind of like, this laugh, like, not, but like, just to each other, like, this is crazy. Like, like, chill, yeah. yeah, it's because we're the last, we were the last, two of the last three on the mic. And, and we were like, six minutes. Yeah, we did six minutes in front of five. Yeah, we both did six. Six. Then the next guy goes up. And the last guy on the mic, and we go, his name was Eric. We go, hey, Eric, run the light. <laughs> and then so Asana, as- says, so Asana goes, hey, Eric, because we're about to, I was like, hey, Eric, run the light. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And bro, that nigga, Asana turns around. To walk out. To walk out. And I'm, but I'm still looking. I'm still looking. Bro, this motherfucker grabbed a pool cue and just goes right up Asana. Just, <laughs> and then like. I turn around last second. He turns around, and he's like this, and then he's just like. He stops. He I guess you. he thought about it. There's nothing cooler, though, than if he did swing at you, you turn around and just fucking... The catch it. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> That's the coolest move I've always wanted to do. It's that one and this one. Bro, that move kicks ass. That move is so 
<laughs> bro, how did they get enough power to do, <laughs> to do damage right there? That's crazy. I always thought about that. That's one of those like cartoon moves that I think about all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, partner. <laughs> I, I, that's what I, that's funny you brought that up. You got into a squabble with because I find Mexicans are normally some of the they have the best senses of humor about jokes about themselves most of the time. Usually what? best laughers too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, uh, like Mexican dudes are the best. Yeah. <laughs> Usually Mexican audiences are like phenomenal audiences. Yeah, but th- uh, these were like you know pilots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They were just kind of they were just young professionals that were like, "Don't make fun of us for being Mexican." And I was like. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? <laughs> it was like the six minutes of the rest of my set. It was just like, are you guys mad at me now? <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, yeah, we kind of are. Did you ask him where the biblioteca was? Maybe they <laughs> calmed down. Should have asked him donde esta. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they did not like me. I felt immense guilt for that one. I was like, all right, I'm going to try this new joke. There's six people here. Let's see if they laugh at the new joke. <laughs> and then they were all just. And good eat Mexican. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> and it's not like and well, yeah, and then yeah, if they so. were looking for you to come out come at them with like some high energy after that, I don't think you were gonna oh, give them that. Yeah, well that too. <laughs> yeah, sometimes at the shows where it's a sleepy crowd, I'll just I'm like ASMR to these fucking <laughs> 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 They're just like, dude, we were already thinking about going home. This guy, I have no idea what this guy's talking about. <laughs> He's so quiet I can't even understand him. Yo, right how the fuck did NPR get on the stage? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I feel, and, and when that type of thing happens. I just do it more. <laughs> oh, you get, get s- even more quiet. <laughs> Talk Damn. even less. <laughs> it's not a good strategy, but it's a defense mechanism, I guess. Yeah. You've always, have you, I'm assuming you've always kind of just been a a meek. Have you ever, do you, have you ever been to a fight? Yeah, I've been in a couple. In my head, I told Asana this over here. Mm-hmm. I was like, he's so chill. I bet you this, in my head, I think this thing has probably fought people. I have, but when I was young, not in like the past. Six months. Yeah, <laughs> 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Since I was like in college, I haven't fought. You fought Damn. in college? He's been in some Only a couple times. A couple times? I've That's told a- the, the story a few times on pod, but I got in like a big fight with my friends once at Rutgers University, which is like the college by my hometown. Ray Rice. Yeah. Yeah, Ray Rice. Oh, so it's just in the air. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did you find it a girl a in the elevator? Is yeah, that what we found a bunch of girls. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Rice. And who else? I don't know. They had a couple guys go recently, but I never went there. But all my friends went there because I was like, the, it was like ten minutes from where I grew up, mm-hmm. and we were there on New Year's Eve, and we got into like a big fight, like six of us against <laughs> six other people. And I, a rumble. Yeah, we got in a little rump, but it was like a child, you know, it was like a college. Like we were like on the roof across the street from the frat house, just being like, let us into your party. And they'd just be like, no, you're gay. And we'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming down there. And then we'd go down there and be like, let us in. And they'd be like, no, fuck you guys. And then it got to a point where they were just like, one of them just like clocked one of my friends out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> just like snuck behind him and just rocked him. So then oh, we that's, started that's, fighting. that's a bitch move. Yeah. Uh, some of us snuck into the party. <laughs> How did you do in this brawl? I didn't do good. I, I told it before I feel bad. I feel bad telling fight stories because you feel I'm not a tough guy, but there's like a big Indian guy and he was just clobbering me. And then I poked him in the eyes. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. Dude, I know I cheated. I like, grabbed eyes? him, like, one of the side of his head, and I put my thumb in his eye really hard, and I, like, hit his head up against something. Oh, and my I, like, God! moved on to something else. And then you went... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my friend should have done that when he got snuck. Damn, and that's the last fight you've ever been in? I think so, yeah. I've gotten into, like, pushing fights and stuff like that, but never, like... No, I'm talking about a real fist fight fist since fist. I was like a fist fight one on one since I was like maybe thirteen. I can't I can't even imagine a situation where you get in a pushing fight. I like how do you how who how do you get that push that hard? You seem so laid back. I just probably get dr- when I'm drunk. No, I probably want to fight somebody yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they're mean to me. I also get you know I'm quiet, so sometimes people push my buttons. And right. I have Ooh. a pretty. I have a pretty. I'm pretty. You know, I don't get mad easily. But I will get mad eventually. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, Yo, it's embarrassing was, to talk about. That was the crazy. I'm not proud of these. <laughs> <laughs> lately, I don't fight. I'm not fighting anybody. I try to avoid conflict at all costs lately. Yo, that's a great action movie tagline, though. Yeah. I, I don't get mad easily, but I do get mad eventually. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why it's so gay to talk. God, God, God. 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 <laughs> I think it's just, you know, me um, stuffing all of my emotions down constantly. Mm. So then I'll explode eventually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not often. Wait, when you make love, does that does an animalistic more? I'm a very passionate lover. Yes. I bet that. that yeah, that's that why I fight. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm a tough right guy. <laughs> that I have a tough guy, and I like having sex. Gayest <laughs> 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 conversation. <laughs> this is what I thought yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah, I like having sex, and I I, I get to fight. So <laughs> 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 so what did Jake do? Did you see the Roadhouse movie? I didn't know. I saw that with my dad the other day. It's a good dad home. movie. Oh, dude, it's it fun. People shit it on it. I mean, it wasn't good, but it was fun. Yeah, a lot of times it's like, what do you expect out of a movie? That's like yeah. that's starring Conor McGregor, right? Yeah, that has Conor McGregor in I mean, the poster. He was dog shit. He was like, it was the most part of my French, like <laughs> acting display. Like he's like. Gordini, that's English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in French that means late. He yeah, was late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a late acting display. What does that mean? It was just he was he sucked. I like Conor McGregor, but he sucked in that movie. Yeah, yeah. but that's but again, if, if you going in with a like, I'm expecting to see good, it. exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting Conor McGregor to be Conor McGregor in this movie right. and fight Jake Gyllenhaal. Mm -hmm. Then his movie's he probably gonna be that. fucking awesome. Yeah, he did do that, and they like stabbed each other. That part was cool. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal says some gay thing like that. He's like, I'm not worried about you. Um, I'm not worried about what you'll do. I'm worried about what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> so gay. Oh, you mean your life motto? <laughs> yeah, your fucking tagline again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. You know what's great? I, the, like, I think about the last fight I was in, bro. Mm -hmm. It was a football practice, college, and... It was like a, a scuffle between uh, a scout team mm -hmm. and starting defense. Scout team and starting defense. Really? We were waxing the ass, bro. <laughs> of course. We were giving it to him that day. It was just a day we were giving it to him, bro, and, and all your boy was talking. Mm. Your boy was talking, bro. Yeah, I was chirping. talking. I was, your boy was chirping, baby. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a redshirt freshman, so it's like I'm like, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> right. I'm like, oh, bro, these niggas is trash. <laughs> so I start defense. This is, why, this is why we're six and six. I'm saying wild shit. Like, I'm talking about the team. But damn, that's actually kind of crazy. Uh, I, yo, scout team shouldn't be destroying you. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. I, I can talk like this if I'm taxing that ass. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And then uh, late, late hit, late hit on me. One of the O-linemen came, shoved, and then started brawling. And I remember fucking helmet came off. Somebody knocked my helmet off. I jumped back in the fight, and I started choking a dude. I'm choking a nigga, bro. I remember this. I'm, ch I'm choking Was a big like, Indian dude? You just think a stump yeah, in his yeah. eyes? Yeah, well? yeah, I'm choking him. It's fucking Indian stink. <laughs> yeah. Stinky little Indian dude. Yeah, you're choking, and he's choking. <laughs> <laughs> choking <for real. laughs> I'm choking because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm like this. No, but I'm choking this nigga. And bro, uh, I, remember, I remember looking to like, just kind of like looking over. And I'm like, on the kind of like on the ground, like on the knee, choking a nigga. <laughs> and, and bro, I look over. <gasps> What? Oh, no. I mean, fist. I saw it too, and it was from the safety who I was like really talking shit to. Uh, like I was really talking shit to him, so I knew it. Like yeah. I seen it in his eyes. He was like, like, yeah. like a slight <laughs> smile. Like got him. Uh, his helmet's off. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're like, choking my boy, bro. Yeah. Boom, black. I'm talking about like, bam. Like, mm. damn, got me. <laughs> Still kept scrapping though. Didn't get out the fight. Still kept scrapping. Nice. And I remember after the brawl, uh, he came up and apologized. I remember that. He came up, he literally, it's crazy because I'm choking a human being, but he came up and he said, hey man, I took that way too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Nice. I was like, it's, it's hard to be like, yeah, you did. When I'm like, yeah. 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 kill another person. still choking him? He's still, still, having, he's still choking him? <laughs> that was the last time I've been in like, a fight. even though I don't count that as a fight because that's a football fight. Yeah. Sports fights Sports aren't fights. fights. But that's yeah. the last time that I was like, no, nah, nigga, like we, I'm trying to kill a nigga right now. Yeah. Right, all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn, bro. But that never, was what about you? About. Never been in one. Really? Never. Real been man. One. Yeah. That is real man. That's real gentlemanly. Man. Never been in one. Been the front row of many comedy store brawls. Of a two, oh, two, two, two like comedy store audience fights. Audience members or yeah, comedians? yeah, yeah. Oh. Two audience members. I remember one time in the belly room, the guy, guy was talking, and uh, the uh, the security guard went up there, 
to you know, hey, calm down, you gotta go, you gotta go. I never, I think Chase Bernstein was on stage. Chase Bernstein, shout out Chase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she was on stage or Nuggets fan, right? Yes, Nuggets fan. Fuck, I fuck with Chase. Yeah, uh, one time she parked her car too. <laughs> one time she parked her car too close to like a pole in her apartment complex, and she got a bunch of comics over there, and we went and we lifted her car and moved I, it. That was that's like a legendary story. Yeah. I've heard that like from multiple people. It's like a <laughs> thing that like and it was like these it was like a, when a baby stuck under a car. Yeah, yeah. Like the fact that all these comics <laughs> band together <laughs> to avoid. <laughs> Fifty dollar parking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard that so it's like a legendary. That was like a thing. We got up and we left the car, and we all felt like men afterwards. <laughs> I can't that. believe we I, did that. I was always wondered if that was possible. <laughs> yeah, if, if if you get twenty open micers, you, yeah. <laughs> you have a small army. Yeah, it turns or five out. real men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I think she's on stage. And this guy just won't shut up. Security goes to, you know, escort him out the back. And this is the belly room. So the belly room has stairs that lead you to the parking lot. Before? When I was young. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the belly room is a sta- up room, uh, uh, upstairs room and has stairs that lead straight to the parking lot. So as the, as the security guard is telling the guy to get up and leave, the guy stands up and tackles him. And then it just becomes, starts just an all-out brawl between, like, door guys and... Security guards and managers. Jody's glass, like Eric's glasses, got kicked off of his face and broke. Like, got kicked off of his face. Whoa. The f- the fight goes down the stairs. It's into the parking lot. One of the dudes is screaming, "Do you know who my dad is? Do you know who my dad is?" That's the nicest. This is that Conor McGregor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, he was fighting. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who but, won the brawl? Who won that brawl? Oh, I mean, at a at a certain point. There's way more of us than there are of them. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I, re- I remember Stephen. I just have a vivid memory of Stephen Fury just fucking <laughs> throwing oh, a yeah. punch. And then I remember <laughs> Fun <laughs> Chow <laughs> ran up, grabbed the guy, picked him up, bam, into the ground. That's oh, hell the yeah. first of two times I saw him do that. Yeah, Fung's a man. Fung's a man, I remember bro. I talked to him about fighting. Like, one of the first times I met him, he was like, I have a rage inside of me. That <laughs> I can't no, drink real. anymore because I was fighting people too much. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, okay. <laughs> right, that shit's real, my nigga. Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, I saw the second time I saw him, was a guy like man. high off some sort of drugs, like uh, sped in the comic store parking lot like 60 miles per hour and like hit another car. And he tried to run, and Fung was at the end of the driveway and just bam, just picked him up and dropped him. <laughs> it, was that? Cra- it was like a form tackle. Yo, I, uh, I remember that moment. Mm-hmm. I remember because I'm standing, I remember standing like. Mm-hmm. Out of the way, but I remember a car flying in, bro. You remember the niggas? You ran, you ran up the. I ran up the hill. So, bro, this nigga, you, you, ever, you ever seen Bo Jackson do that catch where he runs up the catches the ball and then runs up the like outfield wall? No, it's like a legendary. No, sorry. Uh, Sam, pull, I mean Sam, <laughs> fucking Val. <laughs> Val, Jesus Christ, me and Val have been having way too much sex. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> That's fucking yo, look up, uh, look up, Bo Jackson running up a wall. I swear, running up a wall. I swear to God, bro, this is exactly what Asan did. Like it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah, right right there. there. Oh, I may have seen this. Yeah. So yeah, right here. That right there. That, oh, I swear. Because yeah. it was like, bro, the car's coming the car's in coming at the same at like, speed Bo like Jackson was running. Miles per hour. Oh, wait, About that you dodged speed. the car that way? It, it, it was him and a couple other cars. It was me me and Burner both ran Burner. up the wall. <laughs> Literally, I'm talking about, bro, turn, <laughs> hit that wall, bro. Because it was, it was that or get absolutely oh, murdered. Or, yeah, or get, or it was get a real crushed. situation. It was like, yeah, bro, this is crazy. Yeah. And I saw a sign do <laughs> That's a awesome. Bicycle. Yeah. This nigga became Bo Jackson <laughs> for 30 seconds. It was crazy. Yeah, because I was standing in the only open spot. And at first, I thought it was the exact same car that Rogan had. So I'm it standing. Was, it was that white Porsche. It was a white you Porsche. Rogan so was I'm coming for you. Yeah, yeah. So he thought it was finally happening. Well, well, yeah. Well, well, Time so to it's... settle this one. So <laughs> There's too many damn door guys. There's too many, door guys. There's too many podcasts. <laughs> oh shit. But, but no, so it was the exact same car that Rogan had, and Rogan has a spot. At the comedy store back then, yeah. like you kept that spot yeah. open for him, and so I was standing in that spot. Oh, so okay. I see this car that I looks like Rogan's coming way too coming fast. way too fast, and I'm standing in this. Me and Jeffrey are standing in a spot, so we both run up the wall, <laughs> and basically before he gets to the spot, last thing he turns and crashes into a car, mm-hmm. another car in the lot. Yep. Yeah, and it was just some Saudi guy <laughs> who was high, just high out of his mind, street racer. He's like he's like super rich. He killed a kid street racing like four years before. Oh like God. we all looked him up because he tried to get in the, he tried to he kept trying to get back in the comedy store. He never went to jail. <laughs> he kept trying to get back in the comedy store, and he would just hang out. Nikki Glazier fan apparently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <love it. laughs> Interesting. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, I haven't I haven't I don't think I've ever told that story publicly. 
But that, yeah. that was that was a crazy moment. Yeah, I remember that one. That was mm-hmm. a, that was a nuts one. And that was fu- that was uh, that was that was a that was the second big brawl because then there was a passenger's car. He tried to run. That's the guy who funk dropped. And then, bro, everyone who was there just pulled this guy out of his car <laughs> and like for sure that. got a couple licks on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah like, you don't. Yeah, you don't deserve. It's like you don't deserve to just come out of this unscathed. Pop, pop. Yeah, pop. Yeah, 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 it was that shit was lit. And then the cops came. <laughs> and then yeah. the cops came. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bro, I love because of course you don't want to see fights, especially in comedy. It's we're all such silly little villains. So the idea. <laughs> fighting is crazy mm-hmm. the idea of fighting is actually crazy yeah. but when you do see comments like the idea they're like yeah no bro but like if some shit go down mm-hmm. people will throw hands yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah people are willing to throw hands bro <laughs> i remember when the sign got hit at the comedy store right right I got everyone was ready to fuck this but security oh, no, grabbed him so fast. Yeah, but yeah. security grabbed him so fast right. but he was about to get Jump! I mean, jump! <laughs> a guy fucking swung on a sign and hit him. Yeah, for what? First Just time being drunk? N- n- oh my god! Yeah, it he was, was definitely drunk. It was definitely drunk, but it was so stupid. It was Halloween, and they had told us not like they had told us like, hey, you can't let anyone back here right now. That's what the manager told me. Stupid rule, like sacred ground. We're like, don't let managers in. Like, there's a little sort of area by the back bar right. that only people who are in are allowed in. Okay, right. It's kind of like Mitzi's. Right. So. There was too many people back there, and the manager came up and was like, "Hey, don't send any more people back there," which is, was an insane request on Halloween. Halloween is too, it's, yeah. too, be, it's a party. too many people. It's a party. It's famous and, people and, everywhere. And, yeah, famous people everywhere. There's people dressed in masks. I don't know who's yeah, who, yeah. right? So it's like, literally, right after she told me that, this guy comes up to me and he goes, "Hey, can I go to the back?" And I go, "Yo, look, the manager just told me to send no one back there. Come back in like 15 minutes." That's what I told him. Come back in 15 minutes. And he could not handle that. He's pissed. He went crazy. Because he, he he cra- I'm standing like a little, I'm close enough to see it, but I'm like, damn, this guy's yelling at a sign. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like, I'm walking over, like, damn, like really yelling at a sign. And he just swung on a sign, bro. Mm-hmm. Straight I don't up, know. Because so, I, I wasn't, it was one of those I wasn't looking. Sneak, I mean, yeah. sneak him. Just straight up, like, bop. And then <laughs> luckily, security's already because he was already Jeez. yelling. Security grabbed him up. And, but, bro, I mean, every door guy. Ascended, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, bro, it was like you seen that dude with like all the Avengers show yeah, yeah, yeah. shit <laughs> out the portals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. I got. I've seen. I've seen Brian Simpson fight a nigga. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. One of the best comics in the universe of all time. I've seen this nigga just have to lay a motherfucker out. He Shaking had to go. Yeah. I can't <laughs> imagine him. He's a, he's too chill. To he's fight, like too. yeah. He is like very much like you, where you're like Brian fight, but then you forget like oh, this guy was in the military. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a marine. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, you know this is what was crazy about that one, bro. I've seen Brian Simpson. He he's a door guy at the Madhouse Comedy Club in San Diego, and there's a show that night that he's hosting. But he's also working the door. Yeah. So he's checking people in, seating people, doing that. Pain in the ass. Oh, so. he's constantly going up and coming back. And coming back. And he's hosting, so it's like it would have been it would, his whole. But he was, you know, a door guy. He was used to it. Yeah. And bro, I forget what happens, but halfway through seating people, so half the room sat. The, the, uh, the it's a sold out show. The other, the line is like out the door, mm-hmm. the long line. He gets into it with this guy about something. This guy's arguing, yada yada. They're going back and forth, going back and forth. Fight breaks out. Like, like literal fight. So Brian's got him. Another manager comes over to try to help. So he kind of knocks them both over. Mm-hmm. And so but Brian's like, get off. I got him. Brian puts this nigga in a headlock. Like, <laughs> like locks him up. Gets his, gets his feet around. Locks him up real quick. <laughs> Brian holds him. They keep checking people in. So now like they get another door. Like, hey, Raul's their product. He's checking people in now. <laughs> They're going. People have to do this. To get over Brian. <laughs> Brian's like, he's like, let me go. Brian's like, shut the fuck up. Just shut, the, <laughs> shut the fuck up. And I mean for like maybe 10 minutes. Police finally show up. They arrest him. <laughs> Then Brian goes on <laughs> <stage>. <laughs> Like, yo, and people were literally like, "Is it that, that guy? That was Wasn't he just in. restraining somebody outside?" And this fucking murdered, yeah. this fucking destroyed. <laughs> but that was that was one of the like one of those moments where I was like, "Oh, this guy is one of the greatest comedians." Like that was one of the craziest things yeah, I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's an insane thing to just. <laughs> well, that's comedy. You just have to go up and do it, and they're like, I guess they saw me. Yeah, did he talk about out? it? Of course, but he's just crazy. First. Quarter of the like the first half of the audience had no idea what he was talking about. Yeah, right, right, right. All <laughs> the people in the back are losing. Set, yeah. Right, yeah. right, because the madhouse you can. It is possible if you're in the front, you have no idea there's a fight going on in the back. You're yeah, just yeah. so your energy is so disconnected from what's going on behind you, the way it was set up back then. Uh. So yeah, so that was must have been really confusing for them. Yeah, but that was crazy, bro. That was that was one of those things where I was like, damn, this nigga is. 
the goat. Yeah. <laughs> This that, is crazy. That is my. That is sort of the the sort of brotherhood of comics. I like watching it in those situations. How it's all it's all becomes like, oh, we're all just gonna fucking mess yeah. this guy up. That's really. It's not gonna. It's never gonna happen at the mothership because yeah. all the security guys can murder you. Yeah. Thank so, God. Yeah, yeah. Thank. I think about yeah, that, that all nice. the time. It's so nice mm-hmm. to actually feel like feel so safe. You feel like you can truly tell jokes safely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so funny watching like a big drunk guy getting kicked out because you can tell he wants to start some shit, but he has to like walk out with his tail between his legs because there's like six MMA fighters behind him and then in and front then of real, him is a cop. Real cops, like yeah, four yeah. or five real cops, <laughs> fucking <laughs> Navy SEALs and CIA in there. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, the moment you look around, you're like, damn, bro. Yeah, you get escorted out by a drone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't move, buddy. <laughs> oh, God, no. Yo, speaking of comedy... I am curious because you were the first one out of the boys to move here. So we were talking about this. What was the process for you moving here to Austin? Like, what was the decision? <laughs> what was like? What was it? Mm-hmm. Uh, Shane goes, "Do you want to move to Austin with us?" And I go, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? like that's all I do." Is, you know, that, yeah, that's fine though. But I, I figured. But I was curious to like. We were curious to like. Was, was there any pushback? Because uh, uh, you know, ev- ev- everyone else, ca- everyone else sure. came at a later time, mm-hmm. right? Ev- it took everyone a visit for them everyone to be like, "Oh, had to come here." Yeah, they saw what's going on, mm-hmm. but you were just here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bola just, showed up, baby. Yeah, because you know it's my job. So they were doing the pod with Josh, mm-hmm. and they were like, "When can you get here?" Because Shane and Matt were just like, "All right, we're going." Mm-hmm. Well, Shane was like, "All right, we're going." Matt planned it out because you know he has the kids and stuff, right? But Shane just was, you know, he kind of flies. He's very busy, you know, so it's a lot of last-minute travel. So out of nowhere, he's, I was with him, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm moving next week. And I was like, all right, well, I guess I have to figure. I was already in the process of finding. I think I already had had a place and stuff. I, I'm still there, but, yeah, I don't know. They just asked me to come. I was like, yep. How do you feel about the comedy I heard? Do you like being out here? I love it. I love it way more than New York. I hated New York so much. No offense, New York. I, they, they suck dick there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, they don't, no, like, literally, it. They don't like it when you say that. No, I, I was there. I saw a guy suck a guy's dick. I was like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> this doesn't happen anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> That's not even the gayest thing that happens. At the <laughs> <laughs> um, no, New York. I mean, I love all my friends from New York. There's a lot of good comics no, there. But yeah, just that's like incredible. the stage time here is so much better. I feel like an actual working comedian now. I can get up like as much as I feel like I need to. Mm. Opposed to New York, you kind of just take what you can get. And how are the odd? Or like, are, are oh, all the shows the audiences are terrible? Mm. You know, you know, Luke. Luke always talks about the audience. Luke Tuma yeah. always talks about the audiences in the funniest way. He'll be like, "Dude, it's just thirty white ladies that live in like five thousand dollar a month apartments that their parents pay for. They have the shiniest, slickest hair and leather jackets, and they drink espresso. More. They all have." Shiny hair. Have you noticed this? Mm-hmm. All ladies have shiny hair now and really tight ponytails yeah. and leather yeah. jackets. Yeah, no, I know exactly. Yes. I know, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm definitely she, she I'm def- really hot. I'm definitely <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Doesn't they eat. all, you know, they, yeah. Eat, no, yeah, yeah, and they eat like you know, they're just good. They, I feel like in New York, they, it's sort of like a hot, cool person thing to do now is go to comedy shows, which I hate personally. <laughs> I agree. Uh, because hot, people hot are cool terrible. people hate me. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, they're no, Sean. They're terrible. Yeah, yeah they hate everybody. They that hate isn't everybody. hot and cool. And I and I, and I'm saying this. And, I feel uh, bad. No, no, no. Because no, bro. We're talking about comedy audiences. Like, of course, there's hot people who are cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But when I when I look at a comedy audience, if I see everyone in the crowd is hot, I immediately know this show will suck. Yeah. yeah. These people are not the people you want to let. Hot people care about what people think. That's why they hot. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, like you know, yeah. but like you care a little bit more than most people. Now, some people are naturally hot, but not everybody. Some people had to fucking do a lot of work <laughs> yeah. to get hot as fuck. Mm-hmm. And yeah. if you do a lot of work to get hot as fuck, you probably are a you don't laugh at shit. You probably take shit and yourself a little serious. Well, well, I will say this: it's like hot people sprinkled in the audience is fine, yeah. of course. But all because because then it becomes like, oh, everyone's here to be seen. And laughing, like truly laughing, is an ugly thing. Yes. No true, one, yeah. no it's one like laughs. Sneezing. Hot. That's yeah. what I always say. It's like sort of embarrassing. It's coming. To it's laugh it's, uh, it's a physical like. That's, <laughs> that's why a darker room is better because uh, people, people don't. Look how ugly she is. Because <laughs> <laughs> people, people, if, if people can see you laugh, people laugh a little less yeah. sometimes. Yeah, so totally. Right. So it's like, so if it's a room of hot people, they're all really aware of that, and then they're, they're all like, "Well, now I can't laugh super hard because I will look less hot than." These people around me. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's something I definitely noticed in those like LA industry shows. Yes. I just think people go to shows a lot now to 
go do something opposed to go watch stand up. You know what I mean? Well, stand yeah, because stand up is hot right now. It is yeah, the cool that's, thing. It's a, it's a hot person thing now. Like mm-hmm. it's like yeah. weird and but here people just like stand up. For and I feel like more so than back home. So I like that yeah. part about it. You know, okay. Oh, well, it's a trained art town. Right, like they oh, sure. they they were trained for live entertainment way before stand up blew up here. Right, yeah, it was always been a music capital of it's always been a music capital of the country. It's always live music capital. So now that there's a different art here that's live, they're like, oh, we're just about it. Mm-hmm. And then you know the the level of comedy that came here really trained them to be like, oh, okay, this is how you act at the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm grateful for that. And I, you know, New York's fine. I talked crazy shit on it just moments ago, but. <laughs> <laughs> It's good, you know. Like it's better than I never. I never been to L.A. You guys were in L.A. I, I spent like a couple months in L.A. when I like first started comedy, mm-hmm. and I liked it there too. I got. A, I did a lot of mics there. How old were you? Mm, twenty one. Mm. It was like twenty nineteen. Wow. I worked yeah. at that place called Jash. You remember that place? I remember Jash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that I was turned there for like a summer. That like was Sarah Silverman's months. thing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's where Norm taped a show, but I never got to see it because he sold to Netflix right before I got hired there. Wow. Mm. I was so sad about that. The one he did with Adam Eager, right? Yeah. That's crazy. And I used to see the set. I wish I stole pieces of the set. I yeah, that was so cool. easily, and I just didn't do it. Damn. I should have stole, like, his blue cards were just everywhere in this, like, storage closet. Oh, yeah. That would have been a perfect and thing I to just, just hang in your apartment. And there and look yeah. at his props and set. <laughs> it just ask people about Norm, and they'd always be like, He's just kind of crazy. That's <laughs> what they'd say every time. He's just a crazy old man. That's what they'd all call. Him. I'd be like, you guys don't understand. <laughs> 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 He's the only one that's not crazy. That's so <laughs> gay. That's not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually like you saying that. I'm like, damn, you, you, we all should steal more stuff. Just like yeah. small things like that. No, like cool comedy yeah, moments yeah, where yeah. you're like, no, I'm this is worth stealing. That. I didn't expect him to fucking die, though. Piece of shit. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah who saw it? Yeah, it's so funny to be like, I didn't expect a person to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not Norm. <laughs> Not yeah. Toby? <laughs> I thought he was going to live forever. But nah, he died. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I LA liked LA. Was fine. I liked LA. And mm. I like New York was cool, too. Like, they were good to me. The stand was always good to me. Mm. That's a fun place to go up. The fact that you had to pay for open mic sucked, though. Yeah, I never did mic, so that's why I didn't get up so much there. I didn't really. I would just do shows, and you mm-hmm. get like a couple a week. But here, you could do. I mean, you guys know better than I do, but it's kind of shocking and really nice to be able to get up as much as you can here. Well, well, when it's when it's all said and done, you like years from now they'll look back, and you will be part of the first wave of comics that moved here. This is something that I've been telling people. Like Shane, Shane's crew moving here was the end of the first wave. Yeah, you see what yeah, I'm saying? I like, so, like yeah. I, 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 I would say, like, more people. I would say, too. Yeah. yeah, I would say, Lemaire slid under the door <laughs> as it was closing and grabbed his hat <laughs> right before it closed and put it on. I was like, I'm part of the first. <laughs> like, that's that's the cutoff. He's the last of the firsts. Everyone else is like came yeah. after. Well, be the second wave. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's big second wave coming too. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I talk about this to all of our friends from New York. I'm like, dude, and it doesn't sound real. And then they get here and they're like, oh, he's telling the truth. Yeah. You could do so much stand up. You could do here. so much stand up here, and then the more people come, the more rooms will appear because it's it's becoming a comedy tourist place, and people are coming I know, everywhere. That's the cool part too. Mm-hmm. Like, there's just people here. They're like, "I'm from Ohio." <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, bro, hell yeah, what are you doing here? Like, we just wanted to come see like a bunch of comedy shows. Yeah, they'll be like, yeah, I, I did Comedy Mothership Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. then I'm at Sunset Friday, then I'm at yeah. Black Rabbit Saturday, and you're like, what the fuck? It's like, hey, bro, fuck? just do it at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, no, that's yeah, how much you're more spots than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. That, that part's awesome. Mm. It's been awesome here. I was nervous about it at first just because I hate change, mm-hmm. but I was really glad I did it. So, no, I was I was nervous for it when I first moved here, and that was before anything opened. But like, I was like, man, I wonder how this is gonna go, mm-hmm. yada yada type of vibes, and like, are we gonna get? How do I? How also at that time it was like, man, am I gonna get back to L.A. somehow? <laughs> like, how am I gonna yeah. get back? You know what well, I mean? When it, did you move here? Did you move here when everything was closed? Yeah, we, I moved here Both uh, you guys? March 2021. I moved here May 2021. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, but uh, I saw every the boys were here, all the boys, you know, were here, and it was like, all right. But it wasn't like when I moved here again. It was nervous. It was, it was nervous because I was like, "Is this like gonna be the thing that I'm doing forever, or like am I gonna get back to LA, or is this gonna be a pit stop and then go to New York?" Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then got here and immediately was like, "Done, locked in." Yeah, 
This is the place. And that was before the club opened. Right. You know what I mean? I right. was like, oh, this place fucking rules. Well, you could, back then before the club opened, you could just get stage time that paid. Like, LA don't pay you for time. New York doesn't either. Yeah, New York doesn't either. So it's like, I, no matter what, they every do, spot but, I know. do, every spot I do, I'm getting 20 bucks. Some spot I'm getting, some spots I'm getting 60 bucks mm -hmm. for a random show. They pay me like 80 bucks. I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? Yeah, so you yeah. do three or four a night, you know, and every night you get up, you can, bro, you can make yourself around like 500 You do that in New York too, but yeah. you know, there's just so many people there. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll never forget this too. though. Like, but the, you can do that in New York and LA if you are a name. Or, you know what I mean? But like, that's what I'm saying. The yeah. first night I moved here, I made half my rent. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, I got off the plane, immediately went to like four shows, and I made half my rent. And I was like, holy fuck! <laughs> in one night of just shows around town. Yeah, that's awesome. That is fucking fire. Right? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. But that is why, because when I say like I love Austin way better than I like New York or LA, I say this to people. It's like, bro, obviously the comedy is great. Comedy's comedy, bro. It's New York. It's, it's the best yeah. comedians in the world. L.A., it's best clubs. It's, you know, it's best clubs in New York. Like, it's all, all amazing. But you telling me, like, a place to live? It's not even close. Yeah, I'm that's the other here. thing. That's the main reason I'm kind of salty on New York, just because of how expensive it was. Yeah. And I didn't know I could live like a real person. Like, I just expected to be living in shithole apartments for my entire adult life. Yeah. yeah. And, that's what we thought. and then like, I got down here and I was like, oh, I could live like a human. Yeah. yeah. And, what's, and the space. I thought you had to be like a millionaire. Bro, I was like, oh, I won't get a home until I'm <laughs> to, like, Eddie Murphy. get a house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, oh, I could just get a house. It's, it's cheaper than my shithole apartment. Yeah. Do you remember in Taxi Driver? I always say this, but Travis Bickle's apartment in Taxi Driver? Yes. That's like exactly what my apartment was. <laughs> oh so my depressing. God, dude. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, traveling to spots, it takes a while. It, it, you know. Well, yeah, and, that, and that's the great thing about Austin, too. It's like everything is really, truly concentrated downtown. Mm -hmm. And even if it's not, it's only a 15 minute drive 15 away. 15 minute yeah. drive away. So you can, you, you can walk to most of your spots. The drive isn't bad to another spot. You don't have to like spend an hour on the train or whatever. Mm -hmm. But and then the, the the number one thing for me is like just the density of people. Like I feel like I can breathe here, whereas in L.A. and probably in New York, it's just like you're just always oh, surrounded. It's stressful, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, there's you're never like truly like in your space. It kind of feels like, even though you mm -hmm. know, like you said, you have a shithole apartment, but there's like a million people around yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I lived with a lot of uh, a lot of Eastern Europeans were in my apartment building. Ooh, that's how you know it's bad. Cigarettes inside <laughs> and be loud. <laughs> That stunk. Dude, you're so fucking racist. I like, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like Philly, though. Philly's the best. I'll never say a bad word about Philly. Ever? No. No, Philly actually is awesome. Yeah. Angelo's. Fire. Angelo's is nice. My favorite is Delisandro's. Fire. Had that one, too. And, and yeah, that's a good one. That's a great one. I never had that one. That's the one I want to try next yeah. time I go. We, we both had it. Del Angelo's. Rossi's, too. Ooh. Dell's. <laughs> Dude, I like the two hand. You go two handed for a second though. Donald like, oh. Trump's it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we uh, start the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. We have well, oh, we well, have. What you got? Yeah, we have oh, games bro, for you. you, think what we, you got think, for me? You think oh. We didn't have games for the boy. Oh. I knew there would be some kind of games, but I'm, I'm, it's, I'm a little nervous about them. Oh, we have four games for you. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay what the wait. heck is that? Let me. Go. Oh, this is my remarkable. It's my notebook. Oh my god, mm -hmm. that's crazy! I've never okay. seen one of those. Well, yeah, the first don't, don't look at the screens or shit. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you. No, the the, the first game is just on this, so I don't I don't okay. have it on I don't have it on the thing. It's do we need our whiteboards yet? Yes, you do. We need your whiteboards. You will be playing right, against playing Derek. Um, in this game, I'm calling Mashallah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Explain Mashallah to us, Hassan. It's very simple. Hold on, I gotta. I forgot. I forgot to get my thing. I gotta get set up here. All right, so here's the game. Uh, Sean, you talk about it in your act, how you used to date a Muslim woman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was pain. Yes, yeah. oh, yeah, sir. Um, so I have this game. It's just simply 11 questions about Muslims. Okay. See who gets it right, each one. Um, for I'm each not one, gonna be good at this. for each one. Oh, dude, what do you think I am? I hate these people. For, yeah, <laughs> for each one you get right, you guys get a wife. For oh. each one you get wrong, I will throw a little rock at you. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> so I you were going to say that's a rubble from the World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is, this is I a used to have a piece. My friend of mine named Mikey Candela from when I was a kid. Shout out Mikey. His dad was a firefighter there and gave me a piece of the Trade Center. 
That's Damn. wild. It's wild. It's wild that he had the he had the wherewithal to do that during a crisis, and you couldn't do that with months with Norm. Yeah, true. Like, you're just in the same, yeah. in the same. <laughs> oh, I regret that so bad. Yes, yes, but this is a uh, uh, pieces of the world, rebel from the world trade, blessed by an imam. So the we wives. have so the wives are the same. So all right. So the first question is, how many times is a Muslim supposed to pray in a day? You both I ready? I think this is right. Yes, both five, five. times. You five. guys both let's go. get a wife. Let's go, let's go. Your, your first wife is Mark Simpson. Your first wife is Carmella from The Sopranos. Ooh. Yeah. Yours is way hotter than mine. Well, wait, you, wait, you all have the, the, hold on, dude. Have you seen Mark do porn? Yeah. yeah. Her porn's pretty crazy. Dude. You all have the same wives, so eventually you guys could get all of them, if the same ones if you want. Um, okay. What is the name of the pilgrimage that Muslims must take to Mecca at least once in their life? Get the rocks ready because it feels like. <laughs> Say the question one more time. What is the name of the pilgrimage that Muslims must take to Mecca at least I once in their this. life? Because I think I'm going to say the name and you guys will be like, oh, fuck, that's yeah, what it's called. I can't remember it right now. Allah. <laughs> Ask Allah for your guidance and see what happens. Right, right, right. All right, let's go. Vacation? A hobbit's journey. <laughs> Rock. Rock. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Fuck. Man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. It's called Hodge. Oh, that's right. I, I remember. That's a comedian. Learning about that. What? AD. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out ADR. Um, sorry, so, sorry, Muslims. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the what is the country that Mecca is located in? Another hard question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like getting the rocks ready. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. This game is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you're not. You're not. He's. I don't want to look at. Okay. Cards. Ready? Israel, Jerusalem. No, the answer is Saudi Arabia. Why would it be there? Guess. Ah. Damn it. Why would it be there? I was guess that. that doesn't make any sense. Why they put it there? <laughs> it's dumb. Okay. Basketball player. Ooh. Lou Alcinder. What is his Muslim name? Oh, come on. Oh. Is that a world peace? Kareem no. Abdul Jabbar. It's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Yo, the original villain in Aladdin. Yes, so you get <laughs> Lucy Ricardo. Um, Derek, so bad you get a rock. <laughs> Bro, I got two eyes. Take that, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I got three now. Thank you, my boy. Well, the hat trick. <laughs> How many pillars are there in Islam? I think I'm right. Ooh, the answer is five. Five Fuck. pillars. You had 12 and That's three. That's five times. Why wouldn't it be five? Yeah. Rock. Damn Rock. it. Ow. <laughs> uh, I'm so embarrassed. I used to know this. <sighs> oh, fuck. Um, I some of these. Okay, Yo, we're we both go. at Pam. That's crazy. You both, yeah, you no, know, they both have. You have the same. I know, bank. but the fact that we lined up at Pam. Though. Oh, I'm gonna pick randomly. You're not gonna both get Pam. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, okay. Uh, he was an artist that now goes by the name of Yusuf Islam. What was the name he got famous under? Yusuf Islam is his current name, but what was the name he got famous under? I'll give you a clue. It's a singer. Oh, damn. All right. Prince, most deaf. No, the answer is Cat Stevens. Uh, Fuck! Boom. Rock. Rock. <laughs> I thought you were being racist and just calling a rapper a singer. No, 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 no. <laughs> I literally was like, just being just racist, so. <laughs> damn it. Oh, what, so was the, what was the age of the youngest of Muhammad's wives when they consummated their marriage? 12. 
12. The answer is nine. Hey, nine. Man, you know, you, you know, break my eyes, think alike. You know what I'm saying? Rex. <laughs> nine Fuck. is crazy. Nine is crazy. <laughs> yeah, nine's pretty. Nine's intense. Nine is crazy. Nine and, is and, fucking intense. And you know what's crazy? When you bring that up with, to Muslims, they get mad. Yeah, they do get mad. They do get mad. But it's like, hey, <laughs> are we going to pretend that's not what it is? <laughs> that's what she said. She was like, yeah, I was not. They got married when they were six, consummated when they were nine. And her name is Aisha, and she's like one of the more important figures in all of Islam. Because uh, what? she had that good wet wet. I mean, probably she was nine. <laughs> 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 no, it's uh, her. So this is what makes it extra crazy. Her uh, dad was Muhammad's like best friend, pretty much. So her dad like sold her to him, pretty much. Kind of. Muhammad sort of convinced him to marry her daughter, which you know, some people would say that's kind of cult leader like. I wouldn't say that. But some people would. <laughs> but I heard what he said to convince him was, bro, come on. <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> yeah, but like uh, Shia, Shia Muslims hate her. There's like a whole, she's like a very big figure in, all, in the whole thing. Stop grabbing rocks. Well, clearly you're not going to get any of these right. Yeah, yeah. My ex-girlfriend's <laughs> never going to talk to me again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, surely he's picked up some of this. That was, that's why I thought of this game. I used to know some. What is the name of the holiday that marks the end of Ramadan? Eid? Eid? Eid Mubarak, I'll give you that. That's what you say, but it is Eid. You both get a wife. Yes. Yay. You get... Swimming in bitches right now, you know what I'm saying? You get Gloria Pritchett from Modern Family. Oh, nice. That's what you get, and you will get... You know what? You'll get Pam. What am I, a terrorist right Thank now? Because I'm son. swimming in 72 bitches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so right now we're at three wives to Thank two. You for this the is wives, actually a... Son. All right. <laughs> that was very Thank nice. You. <laughs> Name... There's... Four countries that are majority Shia Muslim. Name one of them. Do you know this stuff? <laughs> I'm I mean, some. I got some of it. I'm embarrassed. You're embarrassed? Yeah. Oof. I thought I knew about this crap. <laughs> I thought I knew more about this mumbo jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I'm sorry. I'm just joking. Uh, Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia is wrong. Iran is correct. Fuck Rock. Out! Rock, and you will get another wife. Let's see who you get. Oh, you get Monica Geller. Damn. Oh, nice. That's, a nice one. <laughs> nice. That's a baddie. She's her prime right there, too. Mm -hmm. Damn. All right. So Shia is the minority sort of sect in. Islam. What is the what is the major sect oh, in Islam? Just, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you said so. You're about to get this right. I'll get this rock ready for. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it though. Shuri. Oh no, Sunni is correct. That is how you spell Fuck. it. Shuri is the Black Panther. Damn it! I get those confused. I get those confused all the time. They're so similar. <laughs> Oh, you get uh, every Deborah from Everyone Loves Raymond. Oh, Gross. that's an annoying. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, she's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, okay, I did believe I have one more. Oh, shit, shit, we can tie. We can you tie. can tie. Can and tie. then, who is the most mentioned person in the Quran? The most mentioned person in the Quran. I have a feeling this is going to be a trick question. Yeah, it's got to be a trick question. Uh -huh. Go, Muhammad. The correct answer is Jesus. Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad's only mentioned four times. Jesus is mentioned one hundred. Take me back. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Jesus. <laughs> you get Lois Griffin. Jesus is mentioned. <laughs> Jesus is mentioned one hundred eighty-seven times. In fact, like uh, my last name Ahmad, in one in a certain translation of the name Ahmad, it means one who follows Jesus. Great win, sir. Yes, five to three. I'll five. take my L like a man. Yes. Nice. So I was the wives. Happy I got it at the summit. Damn. I, I did. I did. Well, these were the other wives I had. I had Pam. I had Lucy Ricardo. I had uh, later seasons Aunt Vib. Ooh. Vib. I had early season Aunt Vib. <laughs> I had Claire Huxtable, which is my favorite oh, wife. Nice. I think yeah, out of all the wives nice. here. 
and then <laughs> Carmelo again. Carmelo's yeah. nice. So yeah, those were all the wives you could have won. Yeah. But Sean. But I got five. Sean got five wives to Derek's three. Oh, I got no bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I got no bitches. <laughs> yeah, hold on to that whiteboard. It'll come back later. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back. There's a game that we'll all play against each other in a, in a little bit. Um, the second game. Well, which one? Did, which one did I have first? Was it the NBA game or the boneless yeah. game? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Next game. Oh. Boneless wings. I'm going to be good at this. Okay. Oh, bro. So, and I think I am too. Uh, Son, do you want to? Just, yeah, just a quick backstory. Yeah, backstory. I this. think that's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> it was so confusing. This next game is boneless. This next game is, this next boneless. Game is an inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, w- the first time I ever hung out with you, Sean, we went to that Denny's. That been like my first week here, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was like, who, oh, you got to Who all went? It was uh, me, me. Dylan, Fong. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. And then one more person, I think, was there. But yes. it's the first time they were like, have you met Sean? I was like, I haven't met Sean yet. And we go, and he orders boneless wings at <laughs> yeah. Denny's. And for whatever reason, we were like, well, we're just going to make fun of him forever for that. <laughs> I, was <so> <laughs> <mad>. <laughs> I was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> Bro, this is, so, so I have I'm met. so defensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which totally did not help my case. <laughs> yeah, because we were like, oh, if you're going to be defensive against this, <laughs> yeah, I, know. I guess you're boneless. Chum in the water. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I had met Gardini yet. All right. But, oh, I saw, yeah. but everyone else, all the boys are already like, hey, bro, will you meet Gardini? Call this nigga boneless. <laughs> Everybody kept telling me. So I'm like, all right. The moment I locked eyes with him, I was like, yo, what up, boneless? And the look on his face. <laughs> I'm just like, no. This, this isn't happening. I was like, I got to go back to New York. <laughs> they hate me here. Right? <laughs> yeah, I am a big boneless head, though. I'm a, like, I'm a bone in. But I fuck with like a bone in. But I'm a bone in. Like before. the Creek has the great bone ins. Yeah. That's what I had last night at midnight. <laughs> Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings. Bone in wings. Okay, so you have a bank. Those are pictures of boneless wings on the side. You guys will work together on this. Those are your places you get to choose from. You have to match up which picture is with which place. Mm. So you have Pluckers, Buffalo Wild Wings, Denny's, Chili's, and Wingstop. That's BWW. For sure. For and sure. And Wingstop's in the middle. Yep, that's Wingstop. For sure. You can tell from the, the rapper, rapper, it's a bit of a cheat, but... It's okay. Oh. We got to use our... We got to use a. Uh, but now, I I've never had Pluckers. But I have had bu- um, uh, Denny's, of course. I'm also going to go off the fries. Chili's. D- Denny's has to be one of these. I think the fries. Denny's is up top. You think so? Yeah. Oh, Chili's would also have fries. Chili's would have Chili's, fries. Chili's, I think, is the second, second one. And then Pluckers, I think, is the fourth. It have to be this one. Yep. So, all right, let's say it one more time. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Top, you go Denny's. Yes. Second, we're going Chili's. Chili's. Wings. Wingstop. Wingstop. Pluckers. Pluckers. That's got to be beat up. Wings. Yeah, for sure. Lock it in, baby. Are we locking it in? Lock it in. You guys are 100% correct. You guys Let's nailed go. it. <laughs> they don't call me boneless for nothing. <laughs> they don't fucking call it boneless for no reason, bro. Oh, my bro. God. That was, I'm going to do a standing ovation for that. That was, I've eaten that almost was impressive. all of those boneless, boneless wings. Boneless. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Chili's is my favorite. I told you about Chili's, right? I no. spent like all of my birthdays in a Chili's till I was probably like 16 years old. I really? spent like almost every. My dad used to sing me that. I want my baby back, baby. Back, baby, back. <laughs> like, so, like, help me go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Chili's right after this. God damn, yeah, go fuck it right. Real. <laughs> fuck it right, bro. There's a good Boneless. one. Me and Lamar went. There's a really good one. <laughs> oh, no, well, we, we hit the it's Chili's. It's one on Lamar, right? Yeah, a 45th yeah. and Lamar. Yeah, that's, that's the a Chili's. That's our way. Chili's. That's yeah, like, there's, oh, like, no. articles written about it, no, right? Two, Someone was telling me. Two weeks ago, they named May whatever. I forgot May. I think May something. Or, like, April something. Chili's like April twenty fifth is forty fifth and Lamar Chili's Day in Austin. Ooh, my that, birthday's that. April third. My birthday's tomorrow. Oh, hey! Oh my God, really? Yeah. Oh. Should have made it April thirtieth. That would have made me feel good. God damn. damn, dude! How old are you? Twenty seven on tomorrow. Whoa! Damn. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, this will come out way after your birthday. Well, yeah, now we yeah, gotta yeah, take yeah. my chilies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, we yeah, gotta yeah, take yeah, boneless yeah. and chilies. Yeah, we gotta go to chilies. Yeah. Um, Fucking boneless. Bring yourself boneless. Even your dick gets hard. It's lip. <laughs> <laughs> How boneless you are, nigga. <laughs> I can't, I'm so happy we nailed that. Dude, me too, right? I, I feel, feel like confident, confident, but I, I was worried about pluckers. I never had pluckers. It's all right. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, but you know what? It was? The fries is what it was like. Uh, but you nailed it. When you said. Right. We, we, yeah. You well, I, I tried to pick pictures. This for being Denny's is also a nail. You I mean, that. Denny's, honestly, they're trash. <laughs> I, really I, I should have got the Don't let hear you say yeah. that. Yeah, I, well, I don't think anyone was no, like, no, oh, not bon- Denny's, the boneless wings. Oh, the boneless Denny's. wings, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, that, that doesn't, that's not a shocker. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but yeah, I, I try to get a one picture with like a clue in each one to help you out a little bit because I thought, like, no way they're going to get it that easily. And you guys nailed it so quickly. Yeah. Wings. 
<laughs> that is my favorite food. Wings are my favorite. Same. I uh, once upon a time worked at the original Pluckers here in Austin. What? OG Pluckers? Is where it started? <laughs> yeah, here in Austin. It was by UT students. Is it good? Yes, going in, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's, it, I, I, if I had to rank all the... Oh, wait, hold on. If I had to rank all of them, I would probably put Pluckers at the bo- towards the bottom of mm. like this boneless... No, but. Denny's probably the bottom. Oh, Pluck, Pluckers, I, Pluckers, plus four. Yeah, yeah, Pluckers better than Denny's. If I, how would you, how would you rate them? Uh, B Dubs, Wingstop, Wingstop, Chili's, Chili's, Pluckers, Pluckers Denny's. Denny's. Yeah. Honestly, That's for quality, honestly. I would put Pluckers a lot higher though. <gasps> I would put it over Wingstop, B Dubs. I'm not a Denny's. big Wingstop head. I, put I think I would go, over I think I'd go Chili's, Pluckers. Oh. That That's, boy wing stop need a ten two. piece. Yeah, <laughs> cool. you didn't have to oh. change your voice for that. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, and the next game <laughs> is guards who are dogs. <laughs> so, no, no. Oh, I told you I don't know that. I much. Don't, yeah, oh. so, yeah, but it's all good. But you got your boy. I'll help you. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, thank yeah. God. So okay. thought I was on there mind. are a total of six guards in the N- NBA point and shooting guards that have won. The defensive player of the year. True dogs. Ooh. True dogs. True okay. dogs. Okay. You just, uh, if you guys could pick, just pick six of them, and I'll tell you how much you got right. Well, okay. I already know. We know one. We know. We already did. know the GOAT. And then we, well, not Kobe? Kobe goat probably got Kobe's one. Right? Never, Kobe's never won that. Oh, okay. That I know. Kobe has not won one. I'm just picking off of notoriety pretty 100%. much. 100%. Yeah. But Marcus Smart, I feel like Marcus he's Smart kind has of a one. dog. He's, he's a dog, and he's one of the player of the year. smoked the Sixers. Two. Gary Payton, for sure. Do- literally the glove. Okay. The dog oh, right, of dogs. Right. Okay, okay. So we got three. We got three. Mm-hmm. What about John Stockton? He's a little white ass. He's, he's a little white ass. No, assists all day. Defense. I know he's a great defender, but I don't know if he was defensive player of the year. I know he's, he might have been all defense. Drew Holiday is what I'm like. Has he won one? I know he's a dog. I think he's a first team all defensive guy. Tony Allen is also like That's, one of the best yeah. defensive players ever, but I don't know if he ever won defensive player of the year. Michael this Cooper. You, this is where you take control because I, I got nothing. Sydney. I know Clay has it. Clay's a dog, but he's never won his player of the year. Some of these names are the ones that I'm like. Alvin Robertson, Michael Cooper, M- Mookie Blaylock, Joe Dumars. That's where I'm like. I know all the names and I know who they are. All right, let's let's lock <laughs> in three. Two are dogs. Dogs. I'm looking at this list. It's like, damn, these are dogs right here, dog. bro. You <laughs> you got that video, dog. You the video of the dog. High school football right player. That. Dog. You seen that? Oh, it's so good. It's not where the, this uh, the, he's talking about uh, this old lineman's talking about all the running backs on his team and calling yeah. them all dogs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really? legendary dude. <laughs> dog. dog. <laughs> Do not even know he played running back till last season. <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm yeah, I, I I do wish you. I I, I do. Uh, the it would be cool if you knew a little bit more about basketball because yeah. the na- name of the game was so funny. Yeah, <laughs> but that, that's it's, right. no, it's so fun. It's alright. You just you, I, you hop on your back, your boys I back. I take three leaders. educated guesses. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would I would throw some. We out got there. Mike. I trust you. We got Mike. We got Marcus. We got Gary. Gary. Those are the three locks. But not Chauncey Billups. No, I don't think he's ever won Defensive Player of the Year. No, I'm gonna think Michael Cooper. Okay, I'm. Your Four. word is Bond. Okay. I'm gonna go Joe Dumars. Okay. And I'm gonna go Sidney Moncrief. Okay. All right. You're locking that in. All right. Go to the next slide, Val. Ooh, Almost all of them. So no oh. Dumars. Alvin Robertson was the other guard that won. But you guys actually. That was pretty good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, five, five out of six. Five out of six. Five out of six. Five out of six. I got three We're wives. I got five out of six. Yeah. Yeah. We're <laughs> 11 out of 12 in both of the games. Yeah. That's nice. 11 out of 12 well, both games. I don't know how many wing places there were. 11. Five? 11. There was five. Okay. So we, we got, yeah, we're tending for eleven right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that yeah. money average. Yeah, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all really did kill that. That was that was pretty impressive. Tell you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everyone, everyone oh. on that was what made that hard is everyone on that was a first team, first team all defense at some point. That's why I know I knew that because everyone on here was a dog. Literally, yes. I was like, no, every name on here is a fucking savage. Mm-hmm. Who's Alvin Robertson? I don't, he's the only one of the five. Well, the, Marcus Bart's still playing, but he's the only one of the retired guys not to be in the uh, Hall of Fame. He's just, he was a guy in the 80s who just was a, played deep. Yeah, was a, a phenomenal just defender. Just an old dog. Just an old, old just an dog. Old dog. <laughs> just an old, old dog. Oh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew all the names other than him. I was like, but in my head, I was like, damn, is that Iceman Gervin? But then I'm like, no, his last name would be Gervin. Gervin. Right, yeah, <laughs> I don't, I, he's the only guy I had to look up. Michael Cooper is, that's the Lakers, Lakers. right? Uh, yeah, but I knew, I knew that. I was like, I'm pretty sure Coop, Coop won one. Right. 
All right, and now for our last game, Val's actually running it. The, a rare Val game. A Val game. Oh, Name fun. that breed yeah, a but, dog. Yeah, since you're a part of the dogs. <laughs> how, did, how, did that, how did that come up? Like the name the dog, because like it's it's guard dog. Who said it first? How did it? Yeah, stick? How, did, yeah how did it stick? I think Shane just Shane has a good way of coming up with nicknames. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then he's called me that for I think as long as I've known him. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, your name your name is perfect for that. I yeah. mean, literally, it's yeah. perfect. I mean, that's one of the as on the on the Instagram. Whenever y'all are on the Instagram, the do they talk about the dog. The dog and the shaman, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dog. But I dog, love shaman, Lamizi. Yeah, Lamizi. The Dr. Adolph Sponge. Yeah, that's, that's Chris O'Connor? Yeah, okay, that's okay. Chris. I had to figure that out. Tommy doesn't have one, though. He just got a Toyota Tacoma, so I've been calling him Toyota Tacoma Tommy, but that, that doesn't <laughs> That's so crazy. That's, 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 that doesn't come roll off the tongue <laughs> yeah, at all. No. But I like that, though. Toyota, yeah, to, Toyota Tacoma Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. Just, just Tacoma? That, that might actually Tom, stick. Yeah. Toyota, Tommy, Tommy Tacoma? Tommy, Tommy, yeah, maybe. We'll workshop it. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come up with we'll a... bring it to the lab. Mm -hmm. I call it Sonic. <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. How did how did Doctor Adolf Sponge come about? What the? F that was Shane just trying to give Chris the worst nickname possible. Uh, so he was like, because he was calling him the Turd for a while, mm -hmm. and then people would yell the Turd at Chris at shows. So it's kind of Shane bothering him, <laughs> giving him the worst nickname of all time. Nigga, could you imagine? <laughs> the but turd. It is very funny. That is very funny. Doctor Adolf Sponge, I do think is better than the Turd. I've seen an actual turd on stage. Not even kidding. Oh my what? God. I've seen a turd on stage. I've seen a man go up. It was a bringer show. You know, bringer shows, you know, yeah. bringer shows. Bringer show, pretty much. He brought all his friends. And so it's like the whole crowd was his audience. <laughs> he brought friends and left something else. <laughs> Bro, he went on stage dressed as a turd, dressed Ooh. as a literal poop. And not only that, he had glasses like you do. And on top of the glasses, there were little poops. <laughs> and then he went I was up, bro. He was gonna shit his pants. No, he no worse. He went up dressed like that, and then bombed the hardest bomb I've <laughs> seen in a poop what outfit. What was he doing? Like jokes doing about shows. being poop, doing or just shows. doing like I was at the grocery store today. Yeah. It was Yo, just doing normal so, material. And bro, dressed bro, as bro. Bro, I'll never forget. So he, he bombs the hardest bomb I've ever seen. All the comments back are like, "This is crazy." He walks off stage, and the first thing he says to me, he goes. <sighs> I shouldn't have opened with that Chargers material. <laughs> <laughs> that was the issue. That was the issue. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Shout out Mark Schreiber. Shout out Mark. <laughs> yeah, but that, out Mark. The, all his friends, all his friends were in the audience. Well, yo, all his Jesus friends, nobody laughed. Christ. Yeah, Not a single friend laughed at him. It was crazy to see that. It's horrible. My family just, uh, a lot of my friends came to see me in Philly, and that's the most nerve wracking thing of all time. Mm. Yes. Is this the first time you're like family, friends and family have seen you? My family has come to like cool shows that I've opened for mm -hmm. in like the area, which has been nice. But, but this is your headlining. This is me headlining, which it's like the third time I've done it in my life. So mm -hmm. it was really scary, <laughs> but it was fun. How to, how to, how to, how to go? Good. It was great. Did yeah, you, I was happy to see everybody. Did you do a full hour? How much time do you remember? No, how much time I did? did 45. Mm -hmm. That's, that's still amazing. I've been no, that's, that's a headlining set. 45 that's is 45 headlining. Headlining. I know, headlining. But it's mm -hmm. like I'm throwing everything I got at them, and mm -hmm. it's not a lot of stuff. Like it's certain things, you know, that need work. But I'm figuring did it out. Did you do 45 minutes of straight material, or did you do a little crowd work right off? I did 45 minutes of straight material the first show, and then the second show there was a bro that was like talking the whole time. So I did ended up doing like twenty minutes of crowd work with that guy, <laughs> and I was like, "Nice, now I don't have to do the jokes that, that I don't really feel like doing anymore." And uh -huh. then I just closed with nice jokes, and that was good. I did like almost fifty that time. That's a great feeling. Yeah, did That's you a great did feeling. you perform harder because your friends and family were? I was. I was. I don't really know. I did okay. the same old. I was sweating a lot, which <laughs> I wasn't used to getting like. Just because I worked there for 20 minutes, and then 45 minutes, I was getting way sweatier by the end yeah. than I was used to. Yeah, my the... glasses were falling down my nose the whole time. It was, I'm still getting used to it, <laughs> but it was fun, and it, the set was good. Yeah, I remember the first time I did, like, a headlining set, how tired I felt afterwards. I was yeah, just like, yeah, oh, my bro. God, this is like, you have to build a stamina for this. Well, and yeah. the amount of sweat. I did notice that, too, the first yeah. time I did, like, an hour. You're like, damn, I'm really sweating up in this moment. I know. My mom told me, she was like, you should bring, like, a towel on stage <laughs> next time. <laughs> She's like, right. No, Yo. Why aren't you more like Bruce Bruce? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, no, Mom, that's actually like a black guy thing. <laughs> Did you tell me that? Yeah. What'd she, she say? She's like, it's okay. It doesn't have to be a black guy thing. You just are sweating a lot up there. I think you need a towel. And I was like, all right. She's like, bring a towel to this show. She came to the Wednesday show, and I did Thursday show. She was like, 
Make sure you bring a towel. Just like sending you <laughs> pictures of like earthquake. Like he's doing that. <laughs> 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 what the heck else? It, uh, always, my mom always tells her friends I work blue. When they ask to come see me, she goes, "You can come, but just know he works blue." That's that, what she says whenever her friends. That's are. Odd, bro. My mom says my mom would be like, "You can go see him, but just know he's a cusser. He'll, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna cuss." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, your mom sounds sweet as hell. She's the best. I love <laughs> my mom and dad so much. Hell yeah, dude. That's always nice when you meet other people with dope moms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love like, that you love your mom and your dad. That's all. Yeah, when people yeah. have nice parents. It's mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. are we all, are we, the three of us have dope parents? Mm-hmm. Still together? Your parents still together? Mm-hmm. That's wow. why we're better than everybody. Yeah. Have you, wondered, is, have you kind of wondered at night, like, why am I better than everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel it. Like, this room feels elevated compared to most of America right now. It's because of that. Have you guys noticed our feet are touching the ground? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the nuclear family, right? That's what everyone talks about now. Yeah. The importance of the nuclear family. The nuclear family, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Nuclear two, family. two, 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 uh, uh, Parents that stay together and two point three kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. that's what the nuclear family or something like that. Two and a half kids. Or I whatever. was doing a jo- uh, I did Lucas's show here the other day, and he kept his the bit of the show is like a nuclear hol- nuclear. How do you say that word? Nuclear. Nuclear. Nuclear, yeah. Yeah. nuclear holocaust. And I was just like, what do the fucking Jews have to do with this? Yeah. <laughs> like, why are they it nuclear holocaust? Have you ever thought of that? That's all I could think about the whole time. I was like, what holocaust? <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> That's fire. Val, you gonna do your yeah. oh, Gabe? Are we ready? Sorry, we've been riffing. <laughs> no, it's all right. Val, we we're riffing. <laughs> I'm mad about Val, we we're riffing. <laughs> okay, so the first dog. <laughs> oh, what the so, fuck oh, is but that? We have to even? guess privately. Yes, you have to get pro- okay. guess privately. What yes. the fuck is Yo, that even? Val, did you pick super hard? Hot no, dogs? I picked dogs. Did that you pick the hottest I know. dogs you can find? <laughs> I picked dogs I know. Like the honestly, the first Ooh. dogs that came to mind, I just went with it. Dude, I don't. I don't even. I don't know nothing about dogs. I think having dogs is haram. Is it really? I know I, cats are halal. Yeah, cat. I think dogs are haram. <laughs> you said halal. Wait, wait. Are they halal? Yeah, halal. So halal means like good. It's just not just the food. So oh, that's what I thought. Like, nigga, you're thinking of Chinese people. Right. <laughs> are we ready? Oh, Time for the right. reveal. Hold wait, wait, no, 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 no. no. He hasn't written it. Down. I haven't written it. Down. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I wrote mine down. So yeah, so halal. It's just the reason why it's called halal food is that it's prepared in a halal way. Right, it has to like, I don't know. You gotta like it's slit like the kosher, animal's throat. For, it's like kosher, but the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Muslims can eat kosher. Really? I think it's the same. Huh. What the heck? There's all this other stuff. I used to know about jinns, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those genies, evil genies, pretty much. Yeah. My family really believes in those. Really? Oh yeah, they my dad, my, they have gin stories and stuff. It's really fun <laughs> to like sit in the dark and talk about gins. Yeah, right, gins are good. All right, ready? ready? One, two, three. three. Australian doodle. I just said terrier. English mm. shepherd is what I get. Schnauzer. 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 Oh, no. yeah. God, I know that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, these are all gonna be words you recognize, but we don't like I. Before we all said a different thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think I'm just gonna go terrier Ooh. until I find. Oh my god, this is. I should know this. Oh, this one's a cutie pie. Oh my god, can I lick its mouth? <laughs> oh. This is actually the breed of dog I had briefly growing up. You know so ones I right. don't know. I'm just gonna keep going with it. Are right, you ready? I'm just gonna keep going Three, with two, terrier. One. Terrier. Jack yeah. Russell yeah. Terrier. Hey. The Jack Russell Terrier. Whatever. So, no, I'm counting that. I'm well, counting yeah, that. We're yeah, definitely we're counting. Definitely counting. We're definitely counting. Mind, that. Bro. Guys, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't know the nigga's first name. <laughs> first name. <and last. laughs> I knew his <laughs> family name. Yeah, he's, yeah. The only <laughs> dog. he's the only dog with the first last and middle name. Oh. Oh, easy. I think. <laughs> it should be easy. I think maybe maybe I don't know. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. I wrote bulldog. Bulldog. Yeah. Hey. Georgia Bulldogs. Go dogs. <laughs> the dogs. You remember that? Guy? Go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Sicko. Uh, oh, this next one. Okay. Oh, fuck. I think this is the dog that I would get now. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. <laughs> What a skinny dog. What a fuck. He's got, he's got a chain on, though. That's a cool dog. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm ready. You ready? All right. Two, and two, Greyhound. Doberman. Italian Greyhound. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Uh, Dobermans have, like, um, they're just a lot ch- bigger. <laughs> it's me, oh, a Greyhound. <laughs> fuck, wait, wait. I have two, right? You guys have three, right? Their, tongue, yes. their teeth tend to fall out, so, the, like, their tongue will stick out as they get older. Yeah, they're a lot easier to kiss. <laughs> what the hell? Yo, oh, I think I know what oh, that is. Wait, me too, I think. 
This was like that dog that like everybody knew in middle school, and you'd look up the picture in the library. That's exactly why I knew what this dog is. <laughs> it's like I I've looked up this dog before. Yeah. Just be like, why the fuck? What the fuck does this look like? Because it's a funny name. I'm pretty sure if, if we're on the same level here. Ready? Three, two. Siberian Husky. This is a Chow Chow. Oh, oh the oh, best of Mastiff. Mastiff. Oh. It is a Mastiff. Yeah. Damn. I yeah. know what you mean by Chow Chow. Wait, and I didn't put the Bernard. I didn't put the version of the picture of like the black dog because I feel like that's the one that people recognize the most. Damn, I thought that was the Chow Chow. Good, these are like good that. ones, Val. These Chow are good Chow ones. These are really nice. good ones. That's a good um, one. Bonus. <laughs> if you can figure out what dog this is. Little goofy ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah is it, is little goofy ass? I'm bringing up dog. Oh, yeah, little goofy ass. <laughs> oh, Beret oh, had it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Because uh, this feels like one of those things where you have to guess. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm ready. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word. What the fuck is the word for this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> there's a word for this nigga. Yeah, yeah there's a word for all of them. The it's the widest dog. dog the rules. I don't know. I don't know how much I can help, but try to go with your not knowing their first name theory. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I don't know. That is not, I'm gonna stick with mine. I'm not gonna yeah, let your let your your, your bad hit throw me off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you'll think it was a good hit. Okay. Ready? Jack Russell Dude. I want Golden Doodle. <laughs> Bedlington Terrier. Oh, oh okay. Labrador. He's we fucking went, English. Labrador. We went all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. It's Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, yeah, I didn't know this. I didn't know this was fucking the lead. Sherlock. It's Sherlock. Yeah. Damn. Damn. So, Damn. so, so three, Doodle three, two. Doctor Strange head ass. You know. <laughs> that, was, that was all you had, right? Yeah. Oh, so oh, how do how, how do we do so we, we tiebreaker? How do we, we do, how do we do a tiebreaker? We need a tiebreaker for the boys. How do we do a tiebreaker? I here? could think of a dog right now. Yeah, think of one right now. Everybody don't, don't look at yeah. the screen. Okay, okay. Well, we'll we'll look this way. Oh man, this is a, our first ever tiebreaker. Our first ever in live time tiebreaker. Hey, don't look. Gardena, don't look. Stop fucking yeah, yeah, cheating, dude. Look at you guys. No, yeah, what are you looking at? What are you looking at us for? Yeah, yeah. Look at Val. Look at Val. Val. <laughs> 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 Gardena, you cheater? No, the... I'm not okay, cheating, I promise. I don't know how to hide the image, so let me open Canva real quick. Yeah, yeah so you can uh, just drag in it in the there. meantime, I wanted to tell you guys... Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? I wanted to tell you guys I hugged a homeless lady by accident yesterday. Why? Why? Because she was so nice. You thought it was camp? Y'all said why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you thought it was camp? <laughs> <laughs> I um, felt bad, like, she was so nice, and she, she was like... My move is like if they ask me for a cigarette, I'll give them just like the one I'm smoking most of the time. That's a nice move. I mean, and, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll be like, do you want this one? And they'll be like, Lord, God bless you. Lord, God bless you. Like, that's what this lady was on. She was like, you're an angel. God bless you. She's like praying. And I was like, okay, okay. And I couldn't go yet. I wanted to go, but I was talking to th some bros. And then she just grabbed me and hugged me. And I was just like. And you know how, like, when you go to the beach and then you don't feel right until you shower when you get home? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt after I hugged the homeless lady. You, you can look now. You can look now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what that motherfucker is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the heck is that motherfucker? <laughs> you understand that about the cutest yeah, little dog? Who is you? Who is you? <laughs> motherfucker. No, oh, I mean, I shoot. guess. Shoot. What the heck is that motherfucker? Oh, God damn. You know what? I'm just gonna keep going this until <laughs> until I get it right because I know this is not right. What do What do you got? I'm I just want Pyrenees. I'm just getting poodle. Oh, I want Chow Chow. It's definitely not. So chow it's chow. a Habanese. A Habanese. So maybe you. That's what you were thinking. Pyrenees Habanese. No, because Pyrenees are big dogs knees. for sure. We gotta right. do it again. We gotta go again. <laughs> okay. We gotta we're go again. Keep we got one. It's, it's between until one of us gets one okay, right, right, and the other one. Because so, me, me and you are tied right now. I know, but then the one. Yeah, but if I get one right, y'all get it wrong. Just know I'm backing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. oh shit. Oh shit. True. True. Fuck. Um, related to your hugging story, mm. I had a man in H E B do that to me one time, just like was while I was in line. To, like, or just a regular creepy guy. I was just in line waiting to check out, and he like struck a conversation with me, and then he just like went in for a full hug. And he was like, <laughs> it was great talking to you, and like walked away. Weird. Oh, that is weird. Okay, we're ready. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This might be wrong. Oh, 
Okay. Ready? Yes. Yeah. A Great Dane Cook. Great Dane. Yeah, it's a Great Dane. Damn, we all oh. got it right. <laughs> hey, we keep going. <laughs> we keep going. <laughs> Oh, that's shit. how I was like, that's the Scooby Doo dog. I know. That's yeah, how, that's yeah, how yeah, I thought yeah. I was going to But now we though. look this way. <laughs> okay, I got to think. God damn. This is what a, what a, what. This is the, this like a Tiger Woods, like in the Masters playoffs. That's what it feels like. This, <laughs> yeah. is, my, this is what, this, this is sounds Tiger neck and neck. Yeah, right yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly what Tiger okay. Woods feels like in the Masters. I'm going to do oh, this shoot. one, but I'm going to accept its full name. What does that even mean? Great Dan Cook was hilarious, by the way. We yeah, sort of, we sort of, we sort of looked I'm it sorry, over. I was yeah, it's caught a... up in the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so was I. So was I. <laughs> that was really okay. funny. We're ready. Ah! I want to fucking eat it. Shoot it back, Disney. You motherfucker. <laughs> That's gotta be that. That's gotta be that. It has, wow, that's adorable. God, dogs are so cute. That's the dog I want. Me and Sam want. Mm-hmm. Ready? I'm guess. Yes. Golden, Golden Doodle. Doodle. Golden Doodle. Uh, yeah, I told you I'm gonna accept the full name. Yeah. Sideways. Damn, <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a dog me and Sam want, and I still got it wrong. You still got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're close though. Jesus. <laughs> What's the difference between a Labradoodle? Wait, can you look up a Labradoodle? Yeah. Damn. Damn. Well. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I hope you feel bad, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, oh, it's, just, oh, it's a it's a bigger. He's it's just bigger. bigger. Mm. He's just a bigger ass, a bigger golden doodle. Mm-hmm. I love poodles. I think them. If you have a big backyard, they're like the best. No, because this, this dog's also super fucking smart. Yeah, yeah. they so can like do taxes. And and yeah, they're, hypo- <laughs> <the> taxes. <laughs> they're yeah. hypoallergenic to the. Mm-hmm. Poodles, they don't shed right? either. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? Per- yeah, that's why I want that dog. Perfect dog. Mm. Literally, a super smart. Doesn't shed. Super playful. Always nice. They just want to play all day. Like it's perfect dog. Oh, I like that. I like that. Look how pumped it looks. It's always, bro. And you're never gonna see one not fucking sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, damn. What a well. I'm glad. I, did everyone win a game here? Great win. Yeah. I yeah, so. I think so. I think we, this was a very su- this was a very successful set of games. This yeah, was, was everyone's a winner, baby. That's yeah. the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on my singing shit lately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also I. These whiteboards really bring out my autistic tendency. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to do is color the whole thing. Yeah, right? you keep drawing the Carcosa circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but Sean, thank you so much thank for coming out and playing Guard these dog. games with us. My brother. Guard dog, You're boneless. You're the fucking best. Boneless. Boneless. Thanks, Legend. Uh, Thanks for everything. Go, you can find him literally all over Austin doing comedy. Follow him on his Instagram. You Please. listen to him on Matt and Shane's Secret Pod. He's the fucking goat. Anything else you want to plug? No, no, just my Instagram. Perfect. Dates are there. Thank you guys so much. Dude, oh, yeah. See you, him bro. on the road. See him on the road. Val? You're right. <laughs> we love Val. I got to pee. <laughs> Later, Later, guys. guys. Thanks, guys.